car blondie here and I am in a super special car. Let's just pop the engine. You may have already recognized it. If you've seen the movie Gone in 60 Seconds, this is one of the cars that Nicolas Cage drove in the movie. So for the movie, they built 11 of these cars for all of the shots, but only three were used for the driving scenes. These are so-called hero cars, so they're fully functioning cars, and that's one of those three. All of the other ones were not fully built cars. Some of them like were just built for interior shots, for example. And I'm here in East Germany. Who would have thought Chrome Cars has this car? Some of you are watching this and going, no way, I'm going to pick it to pieces, this is a copy because this is one of the most copied movie cars in the world. But I'm going to get the expert in, in just a second, to point out some of the features that shows that this is actually one of the three originals. This is kind of one of the only things that shows you that it was a car from the movies. Look at these air vents here. They're closed off, they're fake. So they just tacked on body kits to make the car look really cool. The exhaust tips in the movie were for show only. They did not work. The exhaust actually came from out the back. After the movie finished, they wanted to sell these cars. So they had to make them actually function properly. It went back to cinema vehicle services. They're the guys that actually make cars for movies. And they retrofitted a whole new exhaust system that functions so that they could sell this, these cars onto the public. So on all three original movie cars, you'll now see these new exhaust tips. There's also nitrous, <laughs> which we're gonna have a look at now. Some of the movie cars, you could see the nitrous right behind where they were sitting. In this car, it's actually in the boot. So we'll just pull on this little latch here. Boot opens, and there it is, the tank. That's cool. Let's get in, because I know you guys wanna see the interior of the car. I've gotta slam that. This is actually functioning here. That works to fill up. Ta-da! You never know what's real and what's fake on movie cars. Let's go in. This wheel is special, guys. Take a look at this. This is an original wheel um, built for Shelby. I think it's time to bring in the expert who is standing by. Chris, what's happening, man? Hi. Nice to meet you. This is Chris, everyone. Um, from Chrome Cars. They're the guys that own this car and you're pretty much an Eleanor expert, right? Let's say nerd. Like on geek level. Let's say nerd. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's nerd. good enough. Yeah. yeah, nerd is quite appropriate. He's like, and then this feature over here and then that feature. I'm like, okay, calm down. Calm down. We'll go through all the features. <laughs> Come on over. Yep. Okay, where do you want to start? Because I know that it's super important to you to show certain features that make this uh, like 100% fully undoubtable that this yep, is a, yep. an original from the movie. You point it, let's start the with, front, a, right? with the hood. Most of the replicas have like a copy of the of that very custom front end. Yeah. But the, the very main point to point that it's an original car is the hood, actually. The so hood, the shape of the hood and the shape of the scoop. Whenever you see a replica, they're like very edgy, very straight like that. And right. it looks actually cheap. And the reason for this is that they used um, an original Shelby hood and they reshaped it a little bit right. so that's very unique and trademarked actually because the original Shelby hood was actually open here right right so exactly. in order to close it off to look like this yeah. movie car they actually just had to create this piece and it ended up looking just really square so it just came down here and then boom straight. yeah looks okay. more smooth now yeah so yeah so there are lots of different bits and pieces on this car to tell whether it's an original but if you want to get super, super nerdy, let's go have a look at what's under the hood. Got it. There you go. Okay, now in the movie, guys, you don't actually get to see under the hood. So for those of you who have seen the movie, you're like, well, this doesn't tell me anything. No, right? no, no, not but really. But for the freaks and geeks over here, they look under the hood and this is like the stamp that yeah. you need. Yeah, you really need to know what kind of uh, like suspension parts they used for the for the hero cars, what engines, what transmission and, and stuff like that. So um, you have to have the total control products 
suspension parts. The VIN number, we need to just point that yeah, out. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. right here for the super nerds. For the super, super nerds. <laughs> What's not nerdy, though, is driving this car. Yep. That is just pure awesome. Now you need to keep your foot on the gas a little bit, otherwise it'll just conk out. There's a bit of an issue with the seat belt. Why I'm not wearing one. I'm not as skinny as Nicolas Cage. So we're just gonna try and reverse. Put her into reverse. arm the nitrous in this car you can hook it up they just haven't hooked it up yet uh, so next time I come back the nitrous will be hooked up right chrome cars you got me right that's what we want to see <laughs> one actually I wanted to ask you because we know that one of these cars was sold for a million dollars in 2013 we're now 2019 mm -hmm. how much do you think you could get for this I mean it's six years ago and uh, the value just keeps rising mm. so um, we're not afraid to to, um, to say it's double the price so two million probably yeah and that's actually uh, an unrestored car yeah so right. the others are some touch-ups here some new paint job here and change parts so that's as it was in the movie so you've done nothing to no, this car no no just keeping it alive right yeah so yeah yeah driving some oil it. here yeah. and blah, spark plugs yeah what do you have to do to make it work yeah. she's an old girl she's an old girl she's temperamental she says yes when she wants to be driven <laughs> You can drive her when she wants her days off. Yep. Just leave her, have leave some time her. off. Don't touch her. <laughs> totally agree. <laughs> That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give us a quick thumbs up. Subscribe to my account. Be part of the Supercar Blondie family if you're not yet. Massive thank you to Chrome Cars uh, for inviting me to East Germany here to look at their incredible collection. You can see their link in the description below if you'd like to get in contact with them. It's been awesome. Here, driving the Eleanor from the movie on an airstrip here in Germany. How crazy is that? Right, love you, I'm out. of life.